Trigger warning, make them gay. Hypersensitivity, rope knots, razor blade, someone's gotta go. Force behavior, ESG, ugly, exclusively, inferior quality, my answer is no. We didn't start the fire. If you're truly flaming, what's the point in shaming? Tick-tock, brain rot, government psyop, race swap, comments locked, wombless woman with a cock. Shame, guilt, gaslight, finger wag my appetite, model unsustainable, nexus mods BTFO. We didn't start the fire. If you're truly flaming, what's the point in shaming? We didn't start the fire. But you're used to burning and your holes are yearning Forcefully diversify so no one can unionize Pussy's easy to offend, disbelief I can't suspend Downgrades, flat chest, manly jaw the disrespect To denigrate what came before, you don't work here anymore Hogwarts legacy, sells the most but quietly Keely busy sucking D, trying to rewrite history Dyed hair can't coexist, works for us you won't be missed After me now please repeat, this is why you gate we didn't stop the fight. Please, you cannot turn your back on me. Excuse me. My heart is Thank you. Thank you. you are so totally whipped. I'm grand. Let's ride a bicycle bill for two. Then we can go to the potpourri store and then go buy sheep. Would you rather be at home shooting a bazooka or watching a chick flick? Mm -hmm. Chick flick, bazooka. Chick flick, bazooka. Happy end, Brad. Who's that? Brad. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hello, beta testers. Okay. Well, the bad news is kind of good news. So, like this video and comment anything below to push this message of the art vandalizers who proudly admit to wanting to rewrite history to as many gamers' ears as possible. As a passionate and throbbing, legitimately thankful appreciation for you making me so metapod, in this video I'll showcase great games that I think will please just about anyone. Just last night, I downloaded Grand Blue to try out 2B, who had just been added to the game. But not just added, lovingly added. So no Fortnite cami kind of downgrade. This is 2B. And the game having a diorama mode for a showcase, you know, I know it may be some, some pricey stuff, $58, uh, 50 plus the 8 for the DLC for some people, but, you know, I appreciate this, and I hope that it's the kind of standard that uh, other developers are held to. The devs that I speak to are quite sick of the gaslighting and insinuations that real women are unrealistic, just as sick as you are. And from what I'm seeing online, things have gotten so unbearable because of the insufferable group who believe that they must change everything that is apparent to almost everyone, even the basic, like, general audiences who will consume next product, like goldfish. I just, I just remember. Did you, did you see Rachel Zegler win Action Hero of the Year? Yeah. It's not that they think they can get away with it, beta tester. They don't care. The water's high enough in their sinking ship now for them to really understand what the hell's about to follow. So up until now, the dude trust me source for this whistleblower article that had been floating around kind of made it a little bit easy to dismiss, but with a couple of things to add context as far as happenings of late, I would now like to read it to you as is. Quote, it's not really about the sexual objectification of women. Women like men come in all shapes and sizes. To say that having big busty women is unrealistic is untrue. This is only true of trans people. A trans woman can't naturally grow large breasts, and not all trans people can afford implants. If you see a game where the women are a little less curvy, it's not because the game designers are worried about receiving backlash for sexualizing women, it's because they are worried about offending the trans community. From a design standpoint, this is a really challenging problem. I've had many board meetings about how to tackle this, Trans people want realistic representation in our games, but they feel excluded if they are represented as too masculine or too feminine. That's why you will see a lot of designers nerfing the female form, so to speak, so that the difference between trans women and cis women is a little less noticeable. End quote. 
Again, with Source, Dude Trust Me, it should be easy to dismiss. But now that we're on the other side of Hogwarts Legacy, and now that there are a lot of pieces of context, including but not limited to the Insomniac leaked inclusion video that just drops queer and all of this as many times as you might imagine but the first thing within the first 10 seconds of that video the, the thing that they drive home is that the internet is a great tool for reaching youth and use the phrase and even younger people identical to the bullshit that keeps getting captured by Disney and I'm trying my I don't want to get you know I just want to with these games you know what I mean but the things being passed around paint a very clear picture about who specifically needs women to be flat-chested broad-shouldered big-jawed and masculine and yes nobody in the comment section would be wrong to paint the parallel to kids at drag shows being socialized as normal but you know only ladies that are okay for them are manly ladies and even though you and I can see things not for our audience and still laugh and be you know happy that this harmless thing exists for whoever is into it they see something and if it doesn't align with their doctrine it is a threat to them and it must be erased and changed and they're gonna scream until they get their way it's why every thread inviting conversation surrounding this group almost instantly gets locked if i can be blunt Feminism forcing the queer agenda into gaming for so long has made this virtual capture of Stellar Blade's protagonist Eve a modern Mona Lisa in gaming. A body scan of a Korean model named Shin Jae Un uh, being allowed w with, without frumpification from uh, a jury of 10 Jabba body dyed hair activists has broken the mold to instantly stand out as a breath of fresh air because Ugly is not the exception, the way they like to pretend, oh, they're, they're oppressed and it's the minority. No, ugly in gaming is now the rule, not the exception. And you people have made terms like unsustainable and oversaturated part of any informed gamer's vernacular. The reason I bow to Stellar Blade and its developer Kim Hyung Tae of Nikkei goddess of victory fame is because attractive women instantly has the kind of passionate hatred manifesting from the specific group that we keep I've noticed that this same group has no issue strapping on a fucking jiggle physics VTuber to really harvest that audience of children that they hope to make work as their army when more comes out, you will see how focused on children that they have been from the start. And it's part of why you need to understand, I want none of those little kids near this channel. Children are easy to get your likes up and to share your message and to do whatever. But to watch them turned into this, to watch them groomed. <laughs> so, you know... I welcome any of the names and any of the weirdness that any of these kids want to imply with, oh, he's grifting on this demonetized channel, but bro, they will never know passion in their entire body and in their entire life that I have managed in an instant, in a pinky, in a house, in a heartbeat. It's a song from 28 Days Later. Sex sells and ugly repels. This is a controversial statement because of who will freak out about it. Biological women. Can have children is a controversial statement because of who will freak out about it i'm playing hogwarts legacy <laughs> it's a controversial statement because of who will freak out if they don't get their way oh yeah it is ma'am why don't you come outside and i'll show you a dude oh yeah could be better they don't deserve it i hope i've shown you something that uh looks awesome to you in the b-roll because when you vote with your wallet, you carve out a future for a lot of this bullshit. And I think some of this is just going to be a slam dunk. If it just comes out and it doesn't have all that ESG bullshit they keep signaling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Might have hell divers on their hand. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Oh, people outside of California actually see people in real life. 
They aren't triggered by attractive women because normal people don't see hot and get sad and mad. I'll never be like that. I need to erase them. Only then will I stand a chance. Oh, yeah. You know, like, oh, they're such a natural love. Uh, a wrestling character. Imagine if uh, men were so pathetic that they demanded every muscular man appear as a skinny hunchback dweeb because, oh, they're, they're wounded by chance at the ladies. But they'd never do it. You know why? Because it would make more sense in their, like, woke movies and games to have a woman overpowering some, you know, little dweeb. But they need the man to be huge, like, like he's in his prime, like, really believable stuff. Telling the truth is getting people extremely riled up. And I don't get it, but... Maybe you can explain it to me in the comment section below. The reason that you've won Beta Tester is any freak out over Stellar Blade showcases just how Hogwarts legacy they're willing to get over this. And that Hogwarts legacy reaction has a Hogwarts legacy response. Remember what I said? I called the booty shot of Stellar Blade gaming's Mona Lisa. This has been extremely shared across the world. The way that the old games that were dope and fun and stood out would be shared across the world. Transcending language because fun is fun. I was fighting in the hopes that things would be revealed and potentially shape the future of gaming in a way that even hopefully GTA 6 could benefit from before that came out. I believe that the future is going to be filled with you being surprised and impressed uh, by indie developers, by badass, brave developers, these based Korean bastards, these passionately focused, talented people that have been pushed aside. And from you, my voice is available to you when you come correct with some gangster shit, man. I'm ready to help you and do whatever the fuck. We'll, we'll get whatever you guys have going on off the ground because if Bethesda's modders could break free from the shackles recognizing Starfield doing exactly what I said for years and being the final nails in the coffin of the fucking creative engine and Bethesda as a whole. Bethesda as you know it are done. Those numb nuts make games for a modern audience, whatever the fuck that is. People didn't believe me because ugh, this is rock steady we're talking about. It took the activists less time to cripple the gaming industry because you let them. You let them bully you because you were kind. Make the mistake twice. They took your kindness for weakness. It took less time to do that to this industry than it did to develop Woke Steady's Sushi Squad, the game with the toxic masculinity and the dyed haired writers telling you that they're writing Joker insecure and he's finding himself, just like they wrote boomerang insecure and the shark is anxious and maybe the shark's gay now king shark more like queen shark in collaboration with the triggered pussies that are sensitivity treating the mature video game bro it was a live service looter i don't where do we be what the fuck what the fuck is this thank you thank you for sushi squad this is just a, a straw that was designed to break a camel's back and here it is Okay, so to have sweet baby triggered ass reaching over to Kyle talking about, oh, he must be right wing. <sighs> sweet baby ink said, you are an audience of nobody. <laughs> I figure we can only prove them right or wrong. I'm fucking off for a few days. Tomorrow is my birthday and I love you passionately. I apologize for the lack of editing towards the back end of this video, but I break my back and take great risk just to talk to you. And based on what you're saying, boost. <laughs> it's the end of the world. To the patrons, to the describe, d describers? Yeah, describe what the fuck going on in the gaming industry. Let's, okay, man. I love you. Thank you for the likes, the comments, the subscriptions. Hopefully in the future with some fun things coming out, we can laugh, spend time together, and joke without people being offended. Look out for one another and just be safe. Mischief managed. The touch of the black man in a woke story. The God hand shining down, shining upon thee. 
white man as you lay down. Cis white man and couple in background. Understand the power of a black man is a god hand. I breathe life into you. One touch is not enough from greatness. One touch from the black man. Watch me do it again. Kneel and be amazed at the touch of the black man. Ooh. I bring life 